to the point where you are uh, saying, okay, I've selected my genres. Then we would run the spreadsheet, and probably about 60% of your books, we would hopefully be able to give you a genre in that customer choice column if you look at that spreadsheet I sent you. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another vlog. Um, I feel like this vlog would be more structured because, hold on, because I, I don't like the angle. Okay. Because... You know, I just need to find my flow. I need to find my flow. I started genre fine. I started genre fine. I'm waiting on um, Destiny, Follow everybody to send me, okay, the spreadsheet because I have done research. And, you know, back before technology, people genre fy by themselves. Like they did it, the, you know, the hard, the way, whatever way you can think of that is the hardest way to genreify. that's how they did it. And I'm not doing that, okay? They're going to provide me with a spreadsheet. Now, I'm still going to have to go in and look, but they're going to give me a spreadsheet and we'll go from there. I am not going to get each book and scan it and figure out what, where it go. I'm not doing that. I started pulling the um, picture books for the everybody section i started pulling those out because i mean obviously that's easy that's something you can look at you can see that on the shelf it's there so i started doing that myself but then guess what friday one of the teachers called <laughs> and was like yeah when can my kids come to the library da, 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 da. and i'm like first of all okay i said that the schedule is to be announced like that's on the little board okay and I know the administration has said it's to be announced it's on there it's there so it's to be announced it's gonna be announced right don't 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 do that and then the other thing is ma'am it's Friday okay cuz I already know I already know Friday yeah so what I did was I had been trying to meet with and I have met with administration and the uh, instructional coaches and things like that and the specialists when is a good time for the teachers to come to the library and it's just there's no concrete nothing concrete right and that we talking with near theories and all this I don't like that so I went that Friday to talk to the individual teacher because I believe that nobody is best at telling when is the best time other than the person that is running their own time. So you tell me when you want to come. So I went to all of the teachers. It's only a seventh and eighth grade uh, campus. So it's only seventh and eighth grade. And so there's only what, six teachers? Five, I think it's five or six. Let me look at it. I have it right here. One, two, three, four, five, five, five teachers, and one teacher teaches uh, seventh and eighth. So, yeah, um, I was able to get the schedule together, and I'll show you what that looks like. But I was able to come up with a quick little schedule, and also like uh, um, just a calendar, not the calendar itself, but just like what week is what. We're gonna do alternating weeks, seventh, eighth grade week. So, and then after that, a reservation. So it'd be seventh, eighth reservation, seventh, eighth reservation. I actually got that idea from um, one of the librarians I went to visit because she has six, seventh, eighth reservations like that. And so, um, because I was trying to see everybody, um, in one week. Um, but that's not possible because the times that are, would be available, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do it because, you know, it's six teachers and they're all available on this specific time. Um, I was able to go and visit their classrooms, look and see, look at the, let's see what's going on in their classrooms. Um, you know, some teachers were just like, we're going to start with one class um, and then we'll bump it up, you know, because of behavior concerns, you know. And then some teachers mentioned, hey, we might just have to come on a pass, something like that. 
Um, meanwhile, the teacher that actually called me, I will be in here. But I don't think her class is, you know, anything. I think she just wants to, you know, have a breather on Friday. And I understand that. When I talked to the principal about it, he's just like, you need to make sure we're going to have the meeting before. Don't do anything else. <laughs> he was like, don't do anything further <laughs> before we all sit down. Okay. Um, and we have to make sure that the teachers know that this is not a dropping the kids off. I think his concern is behavior. He does not because the kids know their teachers. They don't know me. I started late. So, you know what I mean? He wants it to be rolled out in a structured way. And, you know, I have the best intentions for people, but I know how I know how it works. You want to get rid of your kids. And that's okay, but not going to happen. But I didn't say that. The principal was just like, yeah, mm -mm. don't do anything further. Send me whatever you have created. And then from there, we'll meet and then we'll approve it. Like, low key, I feel like he is just like, I told you that I want you to focus on getting the library together and you over here making schedules <laughs> i did both i did both i'm gonna show y'all what i did to the library but like she called me she called me the, the teacher called me and it kind of upset me that once i started working on getting the library together now teachers are calling like hey when we can come it's only one teacher that was calling but it was just like dang i start putting my energy on this one thing and then the other thing is like i'm not gonna do both we need to pick a pick pick a side pick pick a task okay like i'm if we're going to work on this, we'll have to work on this and then we'll work on other stuff later. But I did come up with a schedule. I did get the library halfway set up. Um, I'm going to show y'all what I did to the library. But the thing is, it's more about when the kids get here, what are they going to do? Because we need to come up with stations. I have some things in my car. It's just puzzles and word searches and stuff. Whatever I can get from Dollar Tree. Um, so... First thing, I got these computers to work. We have a whole bunch of these things. And so I have been testing those to get them to work, okay? Um, I moved all of them ugly chairs over here. We're gonna get these chairs removed out of here, okay? Um, what else did I do? This table, like all of the tables that's like this is gonna be leaving. Okay, we might just keep that one because that's one that one is good. But we got more tables. Apparently, there's a storage room with a whole bunch of these like updated tables laying around. So the um, janitor he is putting that together for me. Um, my lips are dry. Anyway, the janitor is putting the tables together. So I think we're gonna get three more of these tables, which is great. And so as we are getting these tables. I have been getting rid of those tables in the back. Okay? So, here is me trying to get the, um, trying to get the genreification started. I've already started here with the E for everybody. All right, what else I do? I got these computers out of a storage room. This is like an all-in-one monitor. I need to go find a, um, a mouse and a keyboard i got this to work but the thing is i don't know how to make it wireless so we just have it where you do a usb we have a lot of technology on this campus that is not working so i had the bright idea to put in a request thinking that the tech people would come and fix it but the principal was like um thank you for being proactive but I don't think that they're going to come and fix it. They're going to ask us to do a property transfer and then we're going to have to buy it. And I'm trying to not have to buy anything because we only have $3,000. Technology costs, okay? I was thinking about doing a book fair. But one of the other middle schools... Hold on. I'm going to bed. One of the other middle schools, they did a book fair and the kids were scamming the system yeah scamming scamming the system they figured out what to scam it and so i i don't play that because i already know 
you know, the librarian was like, I just don't understand what it is. I'm like, nah, they scamming. And plus also, when you do a book fair, you want to have it like September, October, like that. Whenever you have like a, a parent night. So you might have a literacy event or a Halloween event or something or, you know, a, a parent night, meet the, meet the open house, whatever, because the parents are going to be there. Apparently, the carpet is supposed to be coming up. All right. It was supposed to come up last before I got here that like last year. But, you know, the other librarian was like, no. So it's just kind of like for me. No shade. But if you're going to retire, then you could have let them go ahead and put the dog on and take the carpet up. Now they, now we got to wait for them to take the carpet up. When they take that carpet up, though, it's going to be white tile. You know, white with a sprinkles. You know, you know, you know, regular tile. And then it's going to brighten up the room. It's going to brighten it up. And then I am going to outline the shelves. I'm going to buy my own chalk paint and I'm going to practice in here. And then... <laughs> I'm going to send a picture to the principal. Yeah. Because he was just like, we need to, you know, do some research on the painting and figure out. Meanwhile, all the other librarians, they painted that stuff themselves because it's not like real wood. I don't want to say it's particle board, but it, it's, it's just, it's not like a two by four. Okay, where you got to sand it down and you really got to do some, you know what I mean? Like those tables in there, like you have to sand that down and you have to do some stuff to it. This it's just like you can see it underneath i'm gonna show y'all what it look like underneath it probably look nasty but that's what it looks like and then it has like this film you see that right there so maybe it is but it has something over it so you wouldn't be able to sand that down because it has like a like a piece of something on top of it so you should be able to i'm gonna get the i'm gonna get the chalk paint and i'm gonna try it in here and see what it works I'm not taking no books off the shelves either. I know that's what you're thinking. Like, you going to take the books off? No, no, no. No, no, no. We're going to do it on there. Because we're only outlining the perimeter of the shelf. So you shouldn't have to, if you know what you're doing. And if they leave me alone. They are, they, they, they do pretty good leaving me alone. So I will be able to do that. So I think things are going to look better. I had to move y'all over here because the, um chargers over here and let me tell you i went in the hallway to go talk to this lady and ask her if she wanted anything from mcdonald's i'm about to order and yeah she just wanted biscuit and strawberry jelly she used to open the door for me all the time before i didn't have no id for three weeks so how was i getting into the school so she looked out for me or whatever and then also i always order like lunch and stuff and <laughs> She was like, uh-uh, we don't know these people around here. You need to have, they need to come inside. They have to come inside the school. They have to knock on the door. And then you don't go out because if something happened to you, da-da-da-da-da. She's really nice. She's an older lady and stuff. I just ordered her. She just wanted a biscuit with strawberry. So that's what I'm going to get for her. Um, but then I was outside and I saw one of my little, the little girls, they, they be just dropping kids off in here and I'm going to insert a clip. Let me insert the clip of what. So the principal brought this child in here talking about she going to calm down and then write her a pass. And the child is hysterical. Like she is having a day and it's. 9 9 o'clock in the morning and I just don't understand why are we so upset it, the day just started you know and when she calmed down I was getting ready to write her pass and I just what's wrong what's wrong what's going on and she got her phone taken I thought like somebody died I thought it was a fight I thought it was something crazy right because the way she was crying like I thought it was like real like real life girl problems like I was like what's going on she got her phone taken <laughs> Woo. that was funny and I could not contain myself 
she was like i wasn't making it any better but she was laughing too and i wanted i didn't want her to go back to class you know with a chip on her shoulder because she was just not gonna have a good day today like i know what it feels like to have your phone taken and but the thing is she made a scene and i told her don't ever make a scene with these people up here okay just do what they ask you to do and then they'll forget about it and then by the end of the day it's nine o'clock by the end of the day they gonna give it back but you need to figure out how you gonna get fifteen dollars because i ain't got it and you ain't got it you need to figure it out you need to come up with something be creative right use that generation z like figure it out you need to be creative figure out a way to get your phone back but do it nicely be nice be as polite and you will get it back hopefully maybe because <laughs> it's friday and it's the weekend and mm, but something that stuck out to me was that she felt like she was unlucky. And I was like, uh-uh, honey, because you talking to the optimistic queen over here, positive vibes, positive energy, up and up and up. All we do is win. Okay, so I was like, what is your strategy for checking your phone? Since you said you were checking your phone, what is the strategy? And she was talking about she had it behind her back. I'm like, that is not, that don't sound like, that sound like you want your phone taken. You need to learn the book strategy and you need to learn that I have my phone on vibrate and it's in my pocket and I need to go to the bathroom strategy. Like you need to do that, okay? And then also, where are you sitting in the class? Like these are things that contribute to being successful. What are we like... <laughs> The other thing is, you know, kids like to feel like they have recourse. And I told her, unfortunately, she did not have any recourse because it's a district policy, right? So that means it's not just the school. It's the entire district that says you can't have your phone. And so checking your phone means you were on your phone. So technically, they don't have to, like, you got to pay $15 now. Now, if you want to, like, we just have to be nice about things. We just have to you know maybe they'll work with you okay but that comes with being like polite and people skills okay you can try to you know but next time just you need to be better do better she's like remember me miss remember me and i'm like who are you <laughs> she had blonde hair when i first saw her now her hair is brown with blonde in the back and she have a crinkle with two little things on the side. Okay. She's like, I got my phone took. I got it back. And so now she got a phone. She's like, I'm, I got my phone back, though. I'm like, girl, you need to make sure you keep your phone, right? I asked her, did my advice work? It did. It did work. It did work. That was another girl. She had gotten into a fight. And... <laughs> They had her sitting here with me and she was telling me her story and her story was not connecting for me. Like it just did not connect. So I'm like, I hate to say it, but girl, you sound like you're lying. Okay. I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, just, and then the other girl had proof, like text messages and all this other stuff. I'm like, see, it's too much. Y'all have too much. It's your seventh, eighth grade. Like it's too much. She told me she wanted to be a pediatrician. I'm like, you know, what are your grades looking like? She's talking about she got 70s. And I'm like, ma'am, I'm not going to nobody's doctor. And they didn't get straight A's through medical school. Like, you have to be at the top of your game if you want to be successful. So I told her when she talked to whoever she needs to talk to, what she needs to say is that I made a mistake, but I'm going to do better. I'm going to be better. I made a mistake. And we're not going to let this mistake um be the narrative of the school year because the school just started i made her repeat that over and over and over again hopefully that worked for her this is a different girl hopefully this it worked for her <laughs> i had to watch her write the the um what is it the they have to write a statement and for me it felt like why can't the kids read and write? Mm. You want to be a pediatrician, but you can't spell cool. You spell cool, C-O-O. -O. I was never cool with her.
guys. It's the next day. Look at my hair. <laughs> I did a roller set on my hair. We're using Kara Care, and it just did not turn out the way I want it. So I just went on and flat iron my hair, and it's looking better. So we are up this morning. We're making a um, poster. <laughs> to do these compliance courses so I have the compliance courses running on the desktop and then I am on my computer these computers are hard to like roll around in but anyway um, I'm doing my compliance courses the thing is like as you can see I have to keep clicking. I don't like all of that. I like for them to just play and I can just move on about my day. better at charging these batteries but listen to me okay I'm on my lunch I'm on my lunch I'm doing these compliance courses you hear that so they use the library they use the library and then they turn around and I don't know why it's making that noise and I'm being positive I'm being positive but All right, y'all. I had to put some lips on because you know, you know how we be. You know my lips be dry. But anyway, so today is Friday, and we have not been recording this week. Why have we not? Because I needed to do my um, those compliance courses, and I needed another computer to do it. So that means I couldn't just do it. I'm I'm working on my laptop. So I needed another computer to do it, right? So that means I was sitting in the front. I kind of like sitting in the front because it makes me feel like I'm more available. Um, I've been getting just more socializing with the staff and everything. Like, I don't want to be tucked away. Um, you know, most librarians like to stay to themselves. And I do like to stay to myself. Like, right now, I'm back in my office because I, I need to take a break from talking to everybody. So... Yeah, and it's pretty chill. It's pretty quiet. Like, and I need to charge my computer to charge this back here. So, anyway, um, I feel like it's important for librarians to, like, be social, be, you know, visible, and, you know, just engaged in the community, right? Anyway, so I had to sit out there, and I couldn't record because, you know, people walking back and forth, like, what you doing, da 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 da, -da. kids coming in and out, you know, um, I have been doing library lunch, it's been word of mouth right now, it's word of mouth right now, um, uh, because, you know, the principal wants to roll it out slowly but surely, um, I am taking the initiative, and I am creating, I did the schedule, and so now I'm doing the library calendar, um, and I've been working with the, um, accounting because at my old school, I got a quote when I wanted to buy something. I got a quote and the secretary handled all the accounting stuff, right? So now I'm having to do a little bit more of that. So I had to speak with them about the account. Like I need to, okay. So the budget only have books as the designated purpose i need new account lines for that i need new account lines like for supplies for um yeah just it's a whole thing it's a whole thing <laughs> it's a whole thing i had to write it down she gave me a powerpoint like she was explaining it to me and i just explained to her that i'm a new into this district and you know i, I it's new to me so it has to be 
all these different codes and so I needed supplies and materials general supplies and we had to make sure that it wasn't technology because that's an inventory item and so that would be a different code for that she explained it we talked about it and I understand it now a little bit you know just just enough to get what I need to get because there is a lot that we need to purchase but the thing is you know, I don't want to spend my own money, but here's the thing. These little plastic things, if you order from, I'm not going to tell you the vendor, but one vendor is charging $20 a pop and another vendor is charging $7.32 $7 a pop. You can buy these from Dollar Tree, $24. I mean, $24 for $30. Like, they're playing games. And I don't want to spend my own money, but like spending, like I need 24 of those. So spending with $300 on those little plastic things, that's negligent. That's mismanagement of funds, in my opinion, because you can go to Dollar Tree and you can get it for, you can get 24 for $30. So what are you charging me 10 times? Like the math for me, it's just, it's giving, you're scamming. <laughs> You already know that libraries do not get a lot of money. They are cutting our budget. Why are you, like, I feel like, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I be feeling like everybody is nickel and diming the library. Like, you look, my budget is very low, okay? Stop playing games. Things are too expensive. Things are too expensive. This came from storage, all of that. I bought this stuff here, so like all of that, I bought that. Storage, storage, okay. All right, you guys, so this is the calendar. This is just the beginning stages of the calendar. Like I'm trying to see like what I wanna put on this side, like maybe utilize this space to talk about recommended titles, things they can do online, different activities and different things like that. Just resources that they can have. All right, you guys, I am tired. I am so tired. Um, I'm gonna make my to-do list for next week. We're gonna have a week off, okay? So when I get back, I need to know what I need to do. But I'll catch you in the next vlog. See you later. Bye. Bye.